What's happening, Pan Dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought myself this Super Mart digital LED wood sound and touch sensitive alarm clock here. So I just want to show it to you because I got it because it looked interesting. I mean, it looks like it's wood grain, but it's fake. It's like a, you know, a, kind of like a, I don't know, like a countertop material. You can see there, it, it actually has some texturing on it. And then the print is kind of this black wood grain. I just thought it looked cool. I was gonna use it in my, um, my spare bedroom. You know, it does a reasonable job of looking like wood. But not too good. No uncanny valley here. But it's small. Look, look how small this little thing is. It's um, like the size of a gift box or something. But it's kind of sleek and modern looking. And this is all it really came with. So I thought I'd show it to you. It comes with this cable here, uh, which is pretty long. I'd say it's about four feet. And it uses a single prong power uh, plug there and then a USB cable. And I don't believe it came with a charging block. I didn't see one, but I have one, lots of them. So we'll plug that in. And then that power cable goes right here. Now on the back, you know what? I don't know that this one, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it is sound sensitive. On the back you have a door where you can put in three AAA or four AAA batteries. And so I think that is so you can use it on the road. It should be, you know, like a little travel alarm clock and should work. Um, there are buttons here set up and down and that's going to be the way we program this little bad boy so first of all let's just go ahead and plug it in and start taking a look at what we got so if i turn it to us and then plug it in here all right look at that it is gr green word is what the description says but obviously it's like a green led i think the dark kind of linoleum like texture hides the element pretty well behind it you know i i can't really make out the where the clock ends and doesn't now i've seen some of the ones where it's like more of a birch wood color and then you can kind of see the square of the the clock but in the black color it's pretty nice so i will say it's obviously scrolling through some different information time and then off what i think is is after 15 seconds it's it just kind of goes off and there's the tap, the sound sensitivity. Kind of comes back on, shows my time here. I think I might scroll through stuff. Oh, maybe it's doing it on its own. Showed me the temperature. It's interesting that it's flashing. And then it goes off again. 417, the date and the temperature in celsius so let's go ahead and start using the set up and down here so if i hit the set button dp2 oh maybe it's temperature so it looks like it was on let's see if that changes it to fahrenheit Uh, so if I hold down set, it goes to something here. It is 2017. It's uh, April, but it's not the 17th yet. I don't, I don't even know if this is the right day. Uh, 24 hours, no. I want 12 hours. And, oh, it's not... Oh, there's a there's a light that shows it's PM. And this is where we'd set an alarm, which I don't need right now. And need that. Alarm two, don't need that either. Alarm three, don't need that. This is means SD sound is on. And there we go. Back to 8.45 p.m. Just make a nice little spare alarm clock. 
especially for like a guest room or an office or something because it kind of it's unique and looks cool um, date time we did get all that switched over to Fahrenheit and English so there it is um, you know about $21 is what I paid for it just kind of cool not a super high quality uh, piece of equipment or anything but just looks cool and works as a clock Peter Mumpanda out